Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where we are currently managing the Zanami sector, apparently. But first, we need to send Legion 02 over to Ugarasti, and then Legion 01 is going to take kind of a meandering route up north, grab all of these systems, and then hit Styridon. In the meantime, the Subduer is going to head over to, our, to Ugarasti, although we're going to move kind of slowly. Actually, 91 days to get there versus 43 days, we'll be fine. We don't even need to move slowly. So I do need to figure out what we want to do on this front over here. About how we want to defend this against the hive, since this is purely a hival border. And I don't know exactly how we want to do that just yet. Because we only have one starbase that we could put up. I mean, we could just scrap these and put up the one in Mizar again and just hold there. Or just say, screw it, they have to go to Zimatulan to get through. That's a possibility. I don't hate that. Let's get rid of these. There we go. Excellent. Now, as far as this goes, we do need you to be in Katanab, bathing it. Excellent. And now you can just head up to Sturidon and help help our buddies up there. We'll toss these into the Zanami sector complete. as we go. There we go, and now this one. And there will be these two as well. We'll have to wait a little bit to put the others in because it'll take some time for the Subduer to free those from the tyrannical rule of the organics. That's how we frame ourselves, you know. We're liberators. Liberating the galaxy from the grip of the organics. We do need this construction ship to constructionate. So let's go ahead and have it do that. And then honestly, once it's done with this, we can disband one of those. Won't be too, too bad. And let's go ahead and toss... Akoplirin into the Zanami sector as well. Complete. We are just about to fire on this planet, so that'll be great. Look at that. They love it. They're just like, ah, sweet, sweet neutron radiation. It's truly glorious. Neutron org. Wow, I, I really messed that up, didn't I? Neutron radiation is what organics need. Perfect. Okay, so uh, they're all dead. Science division. Let's go ahead and move our Colossus up over to Styridon. It'll take it quite a while to get there. Hey, we got jump drives Pioneers finished up. Have made planet Let's off. grab... Hmm. Energy weapon attack speed next. That'll be okay. We'll toss this into the Zanami sector as well. The Zanami sector is now quite large. It's everything over here. Construction complete. But that's fine. So we can go ahead and get rid of this construction ship. And then you can go ahead and build research and mining stations. And we're basically done for our with our non-warfare based expansion, aren't we? We are indeed. Uh, let's grab our leader cap upgrade. We'll do that next. And leader level cap and machine modification points, as well as our ascension perk. So we're definitely getting into this late game. Let's see, we do not need an anchorage here. It's a terrible idea. We do not need a star hold here. It's a terrible idea. Okay. Now, as far as how many it would take to actually hold this on the border, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's an awkward number. I think we're fine just leaving this relatively undefended. Silicron Compilers was given association status by the Condine Discord. Concord. Same thing. <laughs> Same thing. So yeah, I think... Oh hey, they're back. And they're super glowy this time. Oh man. They're super glowy. 
Why are the planets back? This must be a bug with the, the neutron sweep in some way. Because they're completely uninteractive and they go away when you restart the game. They don't go away when you just reopen the galaxy map though, which is a little strange. Oh wait, that one went away, but not that one. Huh, I wonder. Let's see, was that dirt? Okay, so if you go into the system where you killed the planet and then come back into the galaxy map, then it goes away. Good to know. So we will be up here finishing up this war momentarily. I mean, the regime has this over here. We have no way to get to it. So we're going to leave those for now. Construction we need to fight complete. the hive first. Did the... Did they ever break that defensive pact? No. Apparently fanatic xenophobism is not enough to break their defensive pact. I guess they, uh, they're a little scared of us. Hmm. Wonder why. Couldn't have anything to do with our actions of late. Could it? Anyway, we need to get this guy in position over this planet. There we go. We might as well send our fleets home. So, uh, go on back to Chi Draconis, which is harder to find now that the Hifnar are gone. <laughs> and you can head, head on back to Gamma Draconis. We'll just rebase you guys for now. Regime of Durvanus was given association status by the Condine Discord. It's now Discord, always and forever. It's the only thing it can be, I guess. However, we are currently at 50% here, so we're just about to wrap this up. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We do want, probably, I mean, the Hisma are kind of hated by everyone, aren't they? They have a non-aggression pact with the regime. So yeah, they're, they're like regime aligned, but we do need to... I would very much like to fight them. Do they have any stargates or anything that we can use to get there? It would appear they don't. Hmm. So basically we have to fight the hive. Or this federation. That could work too. I don't mind the idea of fighting that federation. Okay, head on back to zero. That won't take too long. I mean, it'll take a while, I guess. But it won't take too, too long. Yeah, I think fighting that Federation is probably the best plan, because we, unless they have access through the Hive, we have defenses on every front there that they probably can't get through. Well, we should go ahead and offer peace here. We'll do a status quo piece. There you go. Excellent. Well, we took some territory. It'll be fine. So yeah, my, my thinking is, if we take out this Federation, it would be a, a long, slow war. But then we'd be in a good place to take on the Hive. And the Star Dynasty, I mean, we, we could take on as well, but... Hmm. I mean, is the hive strong enough to break through 10k? That's not very exciting. We don't really have good vision on them. That's the bad thing. Now, as far as fighting this federation goes, I don't think they could get through. They are quite weak compared to us. So we'd probably just focus one at a time, and then just peace in between. Is kind of what I'm thinking. So we would then, like, attack the authority of Mishri. We'd go in from, like, the Black Hole, and then from Gilprim over here. So let's go ahead and get set up for that. 
We're basically at the point right now where we need to start crushing things. We have no other way to expand, really, other than just passive internal sector settling, which is kind of boring. <laughs> Our pioneers have made but it is fall. happening. So we are getting stronger in that regard. But yeah, I think fighting this federation is the next thing. Um, we might lose Nizatoram down here. But other than that, we should be in a good position. Castra is completely built up. So yeah. We're good on this front. No connections here. We're good on the Authority of Mishri front. And we're good on the Valen front. So yeah, that should be fine. We want to crush the Authority of Mishri because that'll give us access to the Raiders and the Zirin commonality we that we'll be able to crush quite world. quickly there as well. It'll also potentially give us access to this stuff down here. So we can have more borders with the Hive. What could go wrong? So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely thinking the Authority of Mishri are the ones that we go after. So let's make sure that we are actually in position here. So you can go there so that you can jump basically immediately. And then you can go there so that you can jump basically immediately. Excellent. So yeah, this is uh, this is gonna work pretty well, I think. What do they got down here? Oh yeah, that's that's pretty amusing. <laughs> that's just not fair. But you know, life isn't fair. They had just as much time to do all this as we did. It's not our problem they didn't take advantage of it. But that's organics for you. Okay, looks like we are currently in position. Uh, let's get the subduer into Antec Rom. That's going to be a little awkward to get to, but it'll be fine. They do have an unexplored natural wormhole here. They also have this gateway. Which is intriguing. But they don't have anywhere that, where they can go. Except for Avicania. Which is almost done upgrading. Okay. Yeah, uh, they could go here. They could go here. That's not good. They could go here. Uh, we don't want them to go here. Every other gateway is good to go, though. I don't know why I downgraded this one and not this one. Like, what's the point of this one? And this one? I'm so confused. Why did I not do this? We dismantle these. Okay, we need to give this sector some resources. So because of this gateway issue, I feel like we need to delay a little bit on this war. And I hate it. But I don't think there's any real way around it. They could potentially jump in. We don't know what other gateways are in these locations. Yeah, there's one here. So we have to make sure that our gateway network is well defended. Because they have two gateways that they could jump in from. Really, the Hifnar enforcers closed their borders with us. Who would have guessed? <laughs> so yeah, I, I think we just need to wait. Upgrade this. Call it a day. I mean, we need to declare war on these guys soon. Maybe. Just maybe. I have an idea. Come on and park at the gateway. And then you... I mean, you're going to be pretty far out of position, but that's okay. We're otherwise well guarded. So come on back. 
park at the gateway, and we're just going to see about taking out their gateways immediately. That'll also buy a little bit of time for this, for this station to come online, so that'll be fine. And then we just strike at the gateways, and then attack with the plan that we had before. I mean, a similar plan. Not exactly that plan, but it would be a similar one. But it'll take time for our fleets to get there. And then we will be able to, at that point, declare this war. But this is going to be a bit of a slog of a war. Just because they, they hold so much territory. We're going to keep upgrading this. Our next upgrade, though, will be a defense grid supercomputer. So yeah, that's that's going to take a fair amount of time. These guys down here are the psionics. But yeah, we're we're well defended. I can't think of any other problems other than this gateway issue, which was entirely my own fault. But that's definitely slowing us down. Well, we don't need this thing to be fully upgraded for these guys, that's for sure. Science Division However, I think we are just about in position. Hey, explosive weapon attack speed. Um, what's cheapest here? Explosive weapon damage, meh. Uh, let's go for kinetic weapon attack speed. That'll be fine. Okay, you are in position. You are still drifting in. Sounds good. Once you are there, then... So, our, our attack pattern would then be coming up from Oximon, probably. And then this would still be coming in from Izar. However, we are now in position. So we could strike at this point. We would strike at Spica, which, out of curiosity, how strong is this station? We don't actually know. But I do see that it's a citadel. Whereas this one up here is pretty weak. Foreign powers are engaging in active What's this? hostilities. Okay. Irrelevant. Okay, so if we were to attack the authority of Mishri. The Valen Cooperative, the, t the Corinth Planets, and the Human Harmonious Kingdom would come in. We know this. This is fine. Standing by to commence offensive operations. Okay, we need to tick one day. There we go. Now, we don't know where this wormhole goes. There is probably multiple wormholes in the galaxy that we still don't know where they go, but we know where most wormholes go at this point. So... I think it might be this one, in which case it's irrelevant. But the uh, the first legion needs to come in and attack Spica, uh, guys. Why are you doing it that way? I'll just use the gateway. Okay. Can we not use their gateways? I thought we could. I thought it connected to every gateway in the galaxy. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, at any rate, this is going to delay our attack a little bit, but that's fine. We'll just tick on forward. We should definitely have the economy to take these guys on. They are just pathetically weak. They should have no ability to attack us at all. If they do, they're just throwing away resources. So we just push in, take out the authority, ignore the others, call it a day pretty much. It'll take us some time to get back into position though, because I was an idiot and moved out of position thinking that we could utilize this gateway network to our advantage. But apparently we can't. 
maybe it only connects to gateways that they're allied to. For our so like they could they could move up to Python. Well, at any rate, we definitely need to push into there. That's for sure. And this guy, I mean, we'll just keep an eye on it. We'll toss in a gun and a missile battery. And we'll just keep an eye on him. So yeah, we'll just push on in. This should be fine. 80 days there, 80 days here. So we should be doing a two-pronged simultaneous attack with about 120k on each side. They should have absolutely no way to fight this. There we go. Excellent. So, the question now becomes, do we want to put a sector in here? And the answer is probably yes. We want to have as many sectors as possible at this point. Yeah, they just, they have no way to resist us. We're going to grab Pythum really fast, and then that's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, we're not going to be able to... There's, there's a planet there, so we're not going to be able to completely control it, but that's fine. In we go. The authority of Mishri is definitely feeling the pain with our two-pronged attack. Avakania actually finished its construction queue. That's cool. Okay, so we grabbed Pythum. Let's go ahead and come down to Jinkath next, since we're FTL inhibited and we can't go further in that way. Are we FTL inhibited here? We actually aren't. Okay, we should come in and start bathing. V Pelor. Excellent. These guys have a fair number of uh, a num fair number of planets, which is one of the reasons why I think we want to set up a sector down here. I mean, maybe we extend it all the way down here to Oxamon and then just say it's, like, this area. I don't know. We'll figure that out when we get there. But we're not going to need a lot of these defensive stations over here anymore, which will be good. How are we doing over here? We need to go into Sanides. That'll be fine. We may not be able to push further over here, but we'll be able to come up here and grab these, like this crescent here. That'll put a pretty serious hurt on their economy. No idea where their fleets actually are. Kind of surprised they haven't killed these raiders actually already. It's a little on the strange side. Okay, um, come grab all this. Come over here. Grab all of this stuff. Then come on back and hit Sosta. We're just going to clear our way up this way. And we are going to clear these raiders, too. We can't push forward, right? Oh, we can. Oh, we have to go that way. Right, right, right. That's fine. Go ahead and do it. Completely fine. We're going to be taking some significant chunks off of them. And the others in their federation really aren't doing anything. Uh, there's a 10k fleet there. It's kind of irrelevant. <laughs> really, really don't care. Yeah, I'm just kind of thinking this whole chunk over here would probably be a sector. Which, we could actually go ahead and set that up right now. Planets and sectors. Create new sector. We'll call it the Oxamon sector. And it's just going to be basically this line up here, right up to this sector, like so. And then probably straight up through this arm. Something along the lines of this. And I mean, we're going to have to fill in a lot of stuff over here, but it would be basically over to the hive border. So we'll just leave it like that. 
for now. We can fill that in later. For now, I'd like to finish up this war first. That would be nice. We can get rid of the Pell Station. Don't need that. Same with the Zurican Black Hole. There we go. Head on up here and start bathing Visalug. I like it. Where are these guys at? Hmm. Oh, right, right, right. That's the, the one system that they might grab. It's fine. We don't care about that system. Okay, how much are you actually grabbing here? Almost everything. That's fine. So after you're done with that, grab Straddle. That'll be great. Well, it is that time, so I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. Next episode, we will be continuing this war against the Condine Concord. See you all then.